What's she doing here? Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did some Corbin. I'm Stephanie. Oh, no, what order? I'm, I'm Stephanie. Rick. Uh, this is my wife, Stephanie, uh, and not my wife, Rick. Thank God. That's true. Um, today we are on to another series. Uh, we, this is our second one of the year, but I think our six, seventh overall, right? Because we did five. Yes. We've done five the previous... Well, we did Sacred Games, then four the previous year in, in 2020. Yes. Um So uh, this was a very highly requested one. Made in Heaven. It's an Amazon series by the one and only Zoya Oktar. Um, and uh, it's... Hold on. I had it pulled up here. Yeah. Okay. The it's a 2019 uh, series by Zoya Oktar, uh, and uh, the the only people in the cast that I think I know are Kolki. She's in the cast, and Jim Sharba, who we've seen in a video, but I think he was the Ranveer's gay lover in in Padmavat. Ah. Uh, yeah. We like him a lot, and then I think it's other a bunch of other people that we don't totally know yet, um, but. Do you know the? Do you remember the storyline of it, Rick? Uh, no. Okay, it's a it's a story of two. <laughs> it's the story of two wedding planners in Delhi, uh, where traditional uh, jolst where where tradition jolsters with uh, modern uh, aspirations against the backdrop of a big fat Indian wedding, revealing many secrets and lies. Mm. So essentially what I've heard is that it takes a look at many different types of Indian weddings. Traditional, uh, I think even gay Indian weddings uh, um, at the time uh, that I do believe homosexuality wasn't legal in India when this series was made. Um, and so I know I've been told that this basically, it's very different than all the other series we've watched. It's not crime related. It's not... It's not gangster right. related. That's what I was just thinking. Right. It's a yeah. strict drama about different things that happen in Indian culture and in the weddings specifically uh, realm. Um, so right. uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. Zoya Oktar, you know, is going to have, I believe, take jabs at Indian culture and some of the archaic uh, things that she sees in the society and in wedding tradition itself. Um, and so... Uh, I'm. I'm really. We've never seen a bad Zoya thing. The only thing you haven't seen. No, you haven't seen two. I think the only thing you've seen of Zoya is actually Made in Heaven. I haven't seen this. No, not this. But you haven't seen Gully Boy, and you haven't seen um, Debra. No. Right? She didn't see either of those. But well. let's just get into it. The first episode. Yeah, before you do, I, I have a. I have a fortune cookie. Oh, okay. A helping hand will pull you up this week in my pants. <laughs> there you well, go. Now aw, we can start. I always did in bed. Wait. Wait, can you see her hands right now? Oh. Whose hands? Wow. No, nothing. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, this the first episode is called All the Glitters is Gold. Well, that's a famous song, isn't it? No. Okay. All right. Here we go. Three, two. Well, I guess I'm controlling it, so it doesn't matter. Here we go. Yeah, why are you counting it down? <laughs> this still works. Fucking kings of regurgitation. God, I need this job. So true. What? <laughs> okay. Only one Angad and only one Alia. The coming together of these two unique individuals is a once in a lifetime event. Absolutely sure. No, and you should. Uh, if the girl needs to be investigated, so be it. <laughs> I've heard this Welcome actually happens. Tell him who that is. Families I'm hire sure investigators does. to investigate the other. 
You could just leave it up uh, to the kids. You could just leave it up to the kids, I suppose. Maybe fall in love the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Raise your everything, just enjoy it. That's him, you reckon? I like Wilco. Absolutely. Those are some Is earrings. Is Adam guy cute? He's married. I don't hey! think he'd be allowed to do business with single men. I haven't seen her in forever, feels like. I know. Why does she always play the edgy girl? And I think she took a break when she had her baby. That's why I haven't seen her much. If Bill Burr and Jason Statham had a baby. <laughs> Yes, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna kiss. We know her. Where do we know her from? Was she in Mesopur? Will I see you again? Really <laughs> interesting symmetry in that shot. Huh. No, we're rich. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bilal never had any issues with me doing nothing. Yeah, and look at how that turned out. There's a divorce knock. Shut up. I think he looks like um, Sasha Baron Cohen. He does. Right? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Not as Borat, though. <laughs> no, it's true. Not half bad basketball playing in India. <laughs> Better than SRK. Abortion. Teen saal pehle, 2014. Interview karne aayi gold digger crap my son. You are single na? How do you get that out of that? All these are actresses. Khalid. Majors. You love her. You want to be with her. You know the truth. How does it matter what your parents think? Good question. Scene. Very natural. Very <laughs> natural. Very good scene. Eventually, they want to die. Baby. <laughs> all that money is. Gone. That's all you can hope for, wow. I guess. <gasps> hey! <laughs> of course, he's the guy that gets the money. He's sleeping with Colby. Just, she just did that, didn't she? <laughs> she was like, "We don't. Yep. You, I don't want you to like anyone." 
<laughs> like, yeah. I was like, I was like, I like that couple. They're so not okay. Okay. Well, that well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting something completely different. It, from the whole series or that? Yeah, I thought it was going to be like a celebration of love. Yeah, no, me. Uh, like, like it was going to be stories of love overcoming and like, you know, beautiful love. Maybe. Bummer. But it doesn't it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> Bummer. Maybe we'll get there, but I've heard enough stories I've had enough stupid babies message me about their own problems that are just like what you're seeing in this TV show to make me think that what Zoe is wanting to do is reveal the really bad state of marriage. Yeah. In a lot of places, yeah. Marriage, society, weddings, all that, relationships. Why you, uh, why you can get married, why you can't get married, why you should get married, and all of the... Yeah, I think we're going to get... I think she's barely scratched the surface. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I definitely don't feel like we're going to be happy. Yeah, no. I don't, I don't think, think this is, is going to be a feel-good romp. I don't I don't think this is a Dil de uh film. I mean, no. a show. Um, it's quite interesting, though, because almost every character has, like, this... It, they're extremely gray. Now, if you look at it, even our main two, the guy, um, he he, he's a gay man who is having sex with all these men and leads them to believe that it's going to go somewhere, but he's just using them for sex. Uh, the girl, obvi- and they were obviously the, the, the main girl, she was, her and that guy were willing to investigate this person's family and may tell the other partner a lie about it and... Uh, and and obviously all their families are just awful. And then the one that you liked in the end, because I was like, oh, they have a loving relationship. That that scene with um, Sasha Baron Cohen guy uh, from from Padmavat and uh, and her when they were basically about to do it was wonderful. It was a fantastic scene. And you're like, this is a nice loving couple. And then he's sleeping with her best friend. Right. Why is Koki always got to be that? <laughs> I know she likes to be the edgy bad girl. Like, wasn't she that in Gully Boy essentially? <laughs> yeah, but she wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> she at least had kind of a. She at least had kind of a nice edge to her. Kind of. But over, I mean, I'm saying all this stuff. I actually really enjoyed the episode, though. I thought it was a really well done episode. It's just I'm. I we're not gonna be happy with this. <laughs> Yeah, at any time if you're watching a show and you're not, you know, doing this, I was engaged the whole time. How about you, Stephanie? Were you engaged 100%, the whole time? 100%, yes, I was. Yeah, man, me too. I me feel too. like this is a show similar to, like, I don't want to say Game of Thrones, but, like, everyone's cheating on everyone. Everyone's, like... <laughs> Everybody has their own, like, agenda. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. That there's nobody. There's there, everyone has their own agenda. Uh, that nobody's innocent. Nobody's yeah. perfect. Um, I yeah. Interesting I, to see where it goes. I did enjoy all the uh, all the actors in it, though. I thought they all did really well. Zoya's usually pretty darn good at that and getting believable yeah. performances. I, I loved the 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 bride in this one. I thought she did. She played her part great, and I mm-hmm. she, I think she was she was essentially playing like the audience. I, I feel like, like, are you serious? You want me to put up with this? Really? Yeah, yeah. She, she was essentially playing the audience character almost um, in yep. it. That was outraged by all the idiocy that was going on. And I'm wondering if every episode is just going to be like, we're not going to see these bride and groom again. It's going to be right. I think we may get, that, like diff- he said, there were actually like, there were like two or three endings to the episode. Yeah. At the end, there, I felt like there were three different endings. But he said. You know, welcome to New Delhi. I think the next episode is going to be a completely different part of India. Mm-hmm. Different wedding, different wedding, different, yeah, different, different customs, different I, expectations culturally, religiously. I think we'll still follow the same two leads, but I don't think so. Yeah, I think because I, I think, think it's it'll it'll be, it's about the wedding planners. Yeah, it'll be their planning and business. I, and I do think VJ was just in that one scene. Man. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, because if it's following those two leads, then we're definitely going to see them again. Uh, I don't know how much is he going to be in it, but I did not know VJ Ross was going to make an appearance, but it made me incredibly happy to see but him. Hey, hey, we noticed him. That's true, we did. Uh, Kudos to us. Uh, what do you think? All the other series, I'm like, what's going to happen? Who's going to die, essentially? But it's not <laughs> It's not that style of series. Uh, I just feel like, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know. But but I like have to reformulate everything that I was going into this with. Because mm -hmm. I was, right. from what like the synopsis was I was just like oh we're gonna follow wedding planners it's gonna be weddings right. they love right. no no <laughs> but maybe they'll surprise us with some love but I doubt there's gonna be very much uh, love in here <laughs> it's just gonna make us all sad <laughs> all sad and angry and uh, yeah on, on top of like I mean, you know there's the angry stuff about like the the mom being just an asshole and then there's probably going to be stuff where, you know, he's going to get in trouble for being gay, obviously, because that the neighbor, the landlord's yep. watching him. And he's going to probably yeah. get in trouble for that because this was made before it was legal. And uh, I, uh, it's still not legal to get married in India uh, as a gay uh, person. Uh, but homosexuality is not a crime <laughs> right. Uh, right anymore, which is, I guess, the bar minimum. Uh, of it, I did enjoy though the fact that it was almost like a. She made the gay relationship very normal. It wasn't like this big thing. Oh, he's gay. It was almost like how you, uh, you most of the time you're like, oh, this is a, a straight couple, and everybody's just like, yeah, that's a straight couple. It's not like a token gay, right? Flam flamboyant character. He's he was very real. I could tell his friends who all I thought were probably gay men as well. Uh, they looked like real. Uh, my 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 brother is very very gay. Uh, <laughs> seems like friends he he has uh, that he would hang out. They wouldn't play video games, but they would watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, but so I, I I appreciated that, and I I feel like Zoya is that type of director that is not gonna let not gonna film a cliche uh in this style of show i feel i agree and okay. this you gotta this 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 only works on the ott platform unfortunately, unfortunately. yeah were you gonna say something sorry i didn't mean to cut you off i was just gonna say like about i i do think the bride and groom actually loved each other yes that's true there was some love there we found the love i think so too you, we have to just search for it we have to search for the love all right, well, um, on to the next episode. On to the next episode.